Hello, welcome to the first 3DS Max news for 2024, and we couldn't start stronger with Typhlow 1.1 and the introduction of Prism. Prism has been developed from scratch by Tyson, it's a new independent Boolean system constructive solid geometry engine that is used to create high amount of fractals with, with huge amount of detail without never failing. Prism is as well the first ever CUDA GPU accelerated fracturing system available anywhere else. Uh, it's super fast, it's multi-threaded in case that you don't want to use a GPU and can handle self-intersecting meshes and overlapping triangles very easy. Like most other booleans will fail when you start uh, recurrent fracturing. This, um, you can check it out, uh, it's quite amazing, seriously. So far we saw this new prism incorporated into the type boolean modifier and we have a new type multifracture modifier that because we have this amazing technology it basically can create multiple booleans with one single click. So instead of um, doing boolean by boolean it will generate all types of planes bool, uh, fracturing whatever geometry that you want. And we have as well a new multifracture particle operator to create all these types of booleans procedurally inside Typhlow over particles. Time multifracture alone needs a longer video that is available on my Patreon, but it's a complete toolset to create any type of fracturing. It has different modes, basically it's one modifier that could be 10 modifiers. You can paint, so you basically move your mouse and wherever you move the mouse it will cut the geometry to are direct totally the cuts. You have an option to use Boronoi to create procedural cuts. This Boronoi fracture as well has multiple sub-possibilities. We have a radial fracture with multiple options to grow or control totally the look of the radial fracture an edge mode that allows to add procedural damage on edges and corners. Also, all this works over the object or over elements. It will happen per element with different randoms. A hull mode and also the option to cut using an image that the modifier will rasterize based on contrast. And finally, a bound fracture system that detects the predominant direction of an object or element to cut transversally to these objects. It's incredible. All this combined with more options being extremely fast, if you have a good GPU, believe me, it's really fast, makes this tool an incredible joy to use if you need a lot of distractions. I have been cutting for years and years on multiple movies and seriously, this is much in performance any other tool. Obviously this is the huge new thing in Typhlo 1.1, but it comes with a lot of improvements and fixes that I will cover exclusively for my Patreons. So far this month in Patreon I share for free this example uh, for Multifracture. And for my Patreons I did 3 tutorials in total, one covering an in-depth explanation of the Time Multifracture modifier, displaying all the options available, another video covering procedurally fracturing over particles, and a third one where we are doing Multifracture for iterative fracturing based on contact collisions that is very interesting. We as well have started a new destruction series where we will destroy a supermarket using Typhlow and a fun tutorial covering non-destructive workflows in 3ds Max. Thanks to all my patrons that support me on the channel, I can keep doing these things. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, go there, I have quite a lot of things now. Another exciting new release this month of January is Ornatrix 8, the popular hair and fur grooming solution in 3ds Max comes with a lot of new options, improvements in grooming modifier, in the curling modifier, more types of styles like mohawk hair, short afro and short pixie. There's the possibility to collapse all modifiers in the stack, they add support to V-Ray 6.1, updated to Embree 3 for faster performance, the UI has been moved to Qt, so it's faster, more responsible and fixes some old bugs, and way more stuff that you can see on the trailer. The friends from Make Originals share for free all the rigs that they use in the series Bravehearts. It's more than 15 rigs totally free that you can use in your projects, learn and explore new options in rigging and animation in 3ds Max. They have facial animation, 
you can see all types of tricks that they use. And also they create this video explaining the rig functionalities and how they work in the studio, where they have some tools to swap between layout and uh, animation uh, files. And as well as a, a bonus, they share some scripts that they use in the studio to bake animations. So it's totally free and normally we don't see these type of things coming from a studio. So thank you so much. And yeah, go there and enjoy it. Norberto Aguilera did a new animation with a very old rig from Porneal that you still can download for free. On the video description you will have the link to Norberto Aguilera animation and on the description of his video you can go to the free rig. Changso Eun created a script to use substitute modifier in multiple objects. It also provides a very clever tutorial or use case for this modifier that maybe you are not thinking about it. Because you can use substitute modifier to change one object for another, but because it also stores all the geometry inside the modifier, you can also use it as a cache modifier. You can then collapse the stacks modifiers below this modifier without deleting them, accelerating a lot of the scenes and you can use it for a lot of different things that Cheng So is explaining on this tutorial, so very worth it. You can use this modifier for a lot of things. Chef or Caesar did this very cool animation. Also, to use it as a remember that the real-time spring script is free, uh, you can download it and it can do awesome things. Mustafa Tarek shared his first 3D scan model for free of a walnut. He's also sharing how he did this commercial project using Reality Capture, ZBrush, 3ds Max, Typeflow, and V-Ray. And the first 3ds Max is only for RGB for 2024. We have to start with the episode 8 for Braveheart, these hilarious shorts done by Make. Remember that we have all the models that you can see here, all these rigs are available for, for download for 3ds Max for free. So thanks a lot one more time and enjoy these uh, shorts because they are becoming very popular in YouTube. Unit Image did a very impressive cinematic for League of Legends to a start season 2024. It already accumulates 107 million views in just two weeks. League of Legends is quite popular. And we know that our friend Clovis Guy helped on the project. Always the guys from Unit using a lot 3ds Max and awesome content as always, like cool animations, cool effects, uh, great stuff. We can see as well some artists that work on the project, like Roman Besley, that is a character artist at Unit Image, that he modeled texture and look dev Morgana using 3ds Max, ZBrush, Substance 3D Painter, Marvelous Designer, Rhizome UV for the UVs, and V-Ray. A very cool animation by Del Trodino using 3ds Max, Typeflow, Phoenix, and FStorm with some nice scraps. Uh, cool stuff with Phoenix for the water. Uh, very nice things. Mohamed Heijer come with this clever setup using Typeflow to scatter the scales over any surface. Very natural results. The file is available to download for free on the Typeflow group in Facebook. Also, we have another Typeflow setup by Luke Penry. It's a Velcro simulation, something that it's not that easy to do, and this looks really, really convincing to me. Also, the files are available on the Facebook group. Brahim Halawani shared his showreel for 2023 with a lot of architectural visualization, but mixed with a lot of motion graphics and very cool animations. He's using 3ds Max, V-Ray, FStorm, and Typeflow. Ralph Suter created this hilarious animation based on his own dog. It's called Roscoe of Bassettville, a sculpt in ZBrush, Substance for Textures, rigged and animated in 3ds Max, and it's rendered in Unreal 5. We had so many animations this month. 
Here, Manuel Alberto did a very funny cartoon that is running using Biped. And another one from our guy Norberto Aguilera using, again, Biped. He is the master of Bipeds at this point. Really cool stuff always using, uh, showcasing a great technique. Whoever says that you cannot animate with Max, then this month we had a lot of animations here. And let's see another one that's about a rig done by Medi Sanjini for a cow. He said that the challenge was deforming the skin below the neck. I can see this being a problem, but seeing the video, you can see that it become uh, really great. Jota Formento created for IKEA a series of very creative concepts for different home spaces like dining areas, living areas, bedroom and garden. Really creative using 3ds Max, Houdini, V-Ray and Photoshop. Timo Muraha participated on the Challenge 46 for the automotive CGI group. The model is done by Eugenia Boscarasenskaya and it's using 3ds Max, V-Ray GPU, Phoenix and Photoshop. Very cool concept art by Armando Savoya that created this futuristic city for the upcoming game Exodus. He's using 3ds Max, V-Ray and Photoshop. You can see as well a trailer or teaser for the game Exodus. I had no idea about this game. Um, yeah, looking good. And this month we get quite some tutorials. We have Michael Skiliaric that recreated a stylized explosion that originally was done in Blender but now done in Typeflow, just using one spline that is driving this full animation. So yeah, if you want to learn a little of Typeflow, it's a cool tutorial. Also, Michael did a full tutorial covering how to procedurally create a crystal formation using 3ds Max and Typeflow, using a lot of BDBs inside Typeflow. Pretty cool stuff as well if you are into procedural asset creation. And if you want ungrapping techniques in 3ds Max, Paul Neal have you covered. On this playlist with six tutorials, he will go to the process to fully ungrab an asset and bring it to Substance Painter to finish painting it. And a new complete masterclass starting from a scratch and covering scene assembly, environments, lighting, effects and compositing techniques is available to pre-order. It's you will learn how to use 3ds Max, Phoenix, Typeflow and V-Ray. The course will cover different shots that you can see on the trailer and pretty interesting if you want to start effects but also knowing the general techniques involving a, a shot. And with this, we finish the month of January. I think that has been an excellent month. Uh, great stuff coming from Typeflow. Remember to share the good news of 3ds Max. You can share this video, subscribe, give a comment. Love always the comments. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helps me doing these videos. Remember, this month we get over five exclusive videos for Patreon covering a lot in depth. All the new multifractor in Typeflow. I think very interesting stuff. And I will be doing more stuff with this multifractor. We will see more in depth tutorials for it because this thing is awesome, guys. And that's all. See you soon, guys. Bye.